Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Maybe one day we'll fill that future arena with uh, some future sports spectation. Anyways, next up we have Ryan Saunders, and Ryan's going to be talking about students driving cultural change. Well, I knew that presentation was going to be hard to follow, but I'll try anyways. Um, I'm here to talk to you about how students are driving cultural change, specifically how Alberta post-secondary students are changing the nature of student-student and industry-student interactions throughout Alberta, both on and off campus. So why do we need this culture change? What does it need to shift? Well, a lot of students, when they graduate, they kind of feel a lot like this guy. They're taking a leap off campus. They're hoping they're going to land that job. It's going to be a great opportunity. But for some students, that can be weeks, months, years before they actually find that opportunity. They can send out dozens of resumes and all they hear is crickets. We think that students need to be actively searching for that job six months, a year, before they actually take that leap and get off campus. Now, for the entrepreneurs in the audience, we've had a great mentor, Perry Kincaid, tell us that technology without relationships has no value. If you have a great business idea, or if you just have the best technology in the world, you need relationships to help you develop that technology and help mitigate some of the risk associated with developing that technology. Relationships matter, you need to develop them now. So where did this all genesis from? Um, we kind of were Santa Claus at the start. We were giving away free tickets to Alberta Council of Technology events. That was a lot of fun. Um, Chris LaRoe, one of the co-founders, said, you need Facebook to do this, Perry. And Perry said, no, you need Facebook, you do it. Um, Facebook couldn't really meet our vision, so we ended up getting a website. ABC Tech is helping us with that website. But our vision is a province of connected students that are actively engaged, I want to stress, actively engaged in their own professional development and in developing their network. So when they graduate, they have that job, or they have that A-plus team waiting for them. We want Alberta students to be the best in Canada and we want them to stay here when they graduate. We find networks help a lot for that. So how many students do we have? We've got about 190,000 plus or minus, who knows, 20,000 throughout the school year. That's a lot of students. That's a lot of people who can contribute to Alberta's knowledge economy, but they have to stay here in order to do that. We're focusing throughout Alberta. To date, we've had a lot of activity within Edmonton. All three of the co-founders are in Edmonton. We've got a great team set up here. We're also building relationships with people in Calgary, in Red Deer, in Lethbridge. If you like that you're here, you want to learn more, you're from one of those organizations, this will probably be the busiest slide you see. Actually, that war was a pretty busy slide, too. Um, <laughs> but really, anybody throughout Alberta can get involved with this organization. We want to have a network of networks so that we have the ability to bring people together, to pass opportunities to our different networks, and also to bring our networks to industry events so that we can have industry there in the room meeting people who are involved in this organization and build those networks. Industry wants you as much as you want them. It's a matter of getting together. Now, collaboration is a huge aspect of everything we want to do. We want to have a student group and an industry co-sponsor on every event, or I should say co-host on every event to bring people together. We like to say that many hands make for light work, uh, really good networking, and it's just a heck of a lot of fun. And in that same note, we want to be inclusive in nature. Any student that wants to come into the organization is allowed into the organization. There's no boundaries, there's no limits. Um, we find it really accelerates a student's professional development if, say, they study physics, Higgs bosons, and if they can actually explain that to somebody without looking like a bozo or looking boring, that's really going to accelerate their professional development. On the same note, we need it to be affordable. Students can't afford $1,000 industry conferences or $100 weekly seminars. So AB Campus strives to have free events or free membership for the events. On that same note, we also try and have, um, or we're lobbying rather, industry organizations to provide free passes to students or heavily discounted passes for students. Um, because of these principles, this has been a rolling snowball. We're drinking from the fire hose a little bit here. It's been a lot of fun to date. This really started with students, but industry has been pushing this snowball as well. There's been a lot of people involved to date, and it's been a heck of a lot of fun. I'm gonna wait for this next slide to pop up. There it is. I like this one, it makes me giggle a little bit inside. Industry wants the students who work smarter, not harder. And they wanna meet you six months or a year before you graduate. They're really tired of going through thousands of resumes, picking out keywords, hiring somebody who doesn't fit with the culture of the organization. So they wanna to get to know you a little bit better and start this interaction. Now, because we're only about six months old, if you haven't heard of us, that's okay. Six months old, we realize the cultural importance of small wins. We've had at least six students connected with either student or industry members in, I think, about the last three months. 
We've also had at least three job offers come down the pipeline that we haven't been able to fill because we haven't had the students to show them these job opportunities. Um, a big win we've had is we got five students uh, $629 passes for free to the student to attend a Quest conference in Calgary. That's Quality Urban Energy Systems of Tomorrow with mayors and CEOs, a whole bunch of people. We got students in the room for that, which is going to be a ton of fun. Um, in addition, we had Twilight in the Meadows. This is a picture from that in the background. Um, we had at least 15 students attend this event for free or at heavily discounted passes. This was a great networking opportunity. Over the summer, we also held two industry student mixers to get students together with the industry in the same room, collaborating. Um, future events, I think we're gonna probably have one industry student mixer once a month throughout the entire school year. Our most upcoming event would be September 29th, I believe, which is gonna be a forum on technology commercialization co-hosted with the U of A's Tech Comm Club. We've got three great speakers who are either entrepreneurs or enablers of entrepreneurship. But I need to pause for a second and give a huge thank you to all the organizations behind me here. They've been helping out so much. It's been so phenomenal, the reception we've been getting and the helping hands we've been getting. And really, the need for this cultural change is shining with all of the people who are helping facilitate this cultural change. Now, some of the students that you might see walking around the campus or in the audience over here are behind me. Um, these are some of the U of Alberta executives that are helping to propel this change. We're MBA students, we're engineering students, we're medical science students. If you see us, please come say hi to us. Let us know that you're interested in something I just talked about tonight, and uh, we'll get the conversation going. Where do we go from here? Short term, there's lots of promo material at the back. You can find out more information. Long term, who knows? We've had really rapid evolution in the last six months, but it's been a really fun journey. If you like our principles, use them in your own, or your own organization. You'll see it flourish. And I guess with that, I just want to say thank you for being a great audience. Enjoy the rest of the presentations.